Good morning, I'm Tony Ratliff, Deacon at Avon Park Christian Church, and today's devotional is titled, Time Out. One morning, in a small town in Switzerland, the clock in the tower stopped. Children, unaware of what happened, naturally thought that they had more time to play and enjoy the lovely spring day. Secretaries on their way to work stopped to visit with their friends in little shops that surrounded the square. Men reading their newspapers took extra time to enjoy their stories. After about 30 minutes, the clock started again, and the children, the secretaries, and the businessmen, noticing that the hands were moving, ran off to their appointments. All the people were late because they had trusted the clock that had pointed to the wrong time. Each person has a personal clock ticking inside of them. It has a specific number of ticks that God has allocated to each one of us that will determine how long we live and when we will die. It is normal to think that our clock is pointing to a great number of days yet to come and that we have limitless ticks that we cannot see or count. We delay thinking that we all have an appointment to meet and face God and give an accounting for the ticks that he gave us. God's word reminds us that none of us live for ourselves. God has given each of us the power to make plans and dreams and look forward to the future. But the most important thing we must do is include God in our plans. Do not forget that while we live, we live to please God. And when we die, we go to be with him. So step one is accept Christ as your savior. Let's pray. Help us, Father, to be mindful of the ticking of our clock, to always be aware of the fact that we have no assurance of tomorrow. May we be sure of our salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. The scripture for today is Romans 14, 7, and 8. For we don't live for ourselves and die for ourselves. If we live, it's to honor the Lord. And if we die, it's to honor the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord.